Hello everybody, this is The Lone Coder, and welcome to a new React video. Today we're going to be looking at how to add SVG vector icons inside of a React Native app. And the reason I'm making this video is that there are a lot of NPM packages that people try to use to add vector icons to their React Native apps. And the problem with these is that, at least in my experience, 80% of the time they just do not work. Most of the time, they don't even recognize the font awesome icons or the ant design icons or the evil icons that you're trying to use. And so on your app, you just end up having those little boxes with the X inside of it showing that it can't load the icon. So in this video, I'm going to show you the real solution to using React Native vector icons without worrying about them not being able to load or the NPM package not recognizing the icon names. So first of all, I'm going to show you examples of the kind of NPM packages I'm talking about. First of all, we have React Native Elements. React Native Elements is a very useful library. I personally use it all the time, but its icon component, in my experience, just does not work. It works for some icons, such as um, the trash icon or the heart, but most of the time you're going to want something more than that, and it usually just has not worked for me. And so you can see down here in the Available Icon Sets section, it says the icon sets in React Native Elements are made possible through React Native Vector Icons. React Native Vector Icons is another NPM package, the one that actually does work, and it just collects icons from Ant Design and Typo, Evil Icon, all of these different icon libraries it uses. But then the React Native Elements icon component is just a component built on top of React Native Vector Icons. And like I said, it usually just does not work. So the next NPM package that I have tried is React Native Vector Image. Again, it is just built on top of React Native Vector Icons, and in my experience, it has not worked. And the third one is React Native SVG. It's just the same as the other ones. It's an NPM package that, in my experience, has not worked for me at all. So if you have ever used these three NPM packages and they haven't worked for you, then this video is going to help you out a lot, and I'm going to show you the solution to adding vector icons to your React app. So the solution is just to use the React Native Vector Icons library directly. I'm here on the React Native Vector Icons directory where you can see we have ant design icons. Um, if we scroll down, we have Typo, and we have all kinds. We have Feather, Font Awesome, Font Awesome 5, Fontisto. All of these icons are available for us to use. So I'm going to show you how we can use it in a React Native app right now. So you can see here that I created a Expo React Native app. I just used um, the npx create Expo command. As you can see here, if I open up the terminal at the top, you can see I entered npx create Expo app vector icons, and then that ran, and then I opened VS Code in it. And so now inside of this app, I'm just going to add in some basic markup, or maybe not depending on what's in here. Let's go ahead and actually run this app just to see what it looks like. So that'll be Expo start, and I'm going to start the web version. And now I'm going to have to install React Native Web in React DOM. And so any moment now, when this is done, it's going to open up our app in the browser. As you can see, it's opening on port, uh, what did it say? 19006. So that'll open in just a moment. So you can see here that it says open up app.js to start working on your app. This should be familiar to you if you have ever worked with Expo. So let's go ahead and go back to the app. And so let's say we want to add vector icons inside of this app. Let's say we're just going to add it under this text component right here. So in order to do this, the first thing you need to do is go to your terminal and I'm going to open a new terminal tab and I'm going to enter, actually, let me make this bigger first. I'm going to enter npm install or just I and react dash native dash vector dash icons. And that is going to install in a moment. So now that that's done installing, I'm going to go into the file explorer, go into the node modules, and I'm going to do control F and search for that package, which is react dash native dash vector. And we can see it right here. So I'm going to close this and open up this. So you can see inside of the react native vector icons folder, if we go down past the subdirectories inside of it, you can see we have these JavaScript files like antdesign.js and typo.js evilicons.js, and each of these files, if we open them up, we can see that they export a default icon set. And what this means is we can actually import these icons directly as a React component. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to actually import a font awesome icon component. So to do this, you just write import at the top of your file, then I'm going to write font awesome icon, but you can actually name this whatever you want, and it's going to be from React Native Vector Icons slash font awesome. 
And just like that, we have a font awesome icon component. And in order to use this, I'm going to go under the text component and just add in that component just like that. And then inside of it, we need to add a name attribute. And this name is going to be the name of the icon inside of the React Native Vector Icons directory. I will leave the link to this directory in the description. So I'm just going to scroll down to the font awesome icons and here they are. And so I'm going to pick one such as um, an outline star. So that's star dash O. So back in VS Code, the name is going to be star dash O. And then another attribute you can add is the size attribute. And that is going to be in curly braces. And I'm just going to do something like 50. And then below this, I'll just close the component. So now let's go back to our app. And now you can see that this star is showing up on the app. And believe me, I have tried doing the same exact thing with React Native Elements, React Native Vector Image, and React Native SVG, and it never worked, except for the most basic icons, and sometimes even those wouldn't load. So that is how you add icons to your React Native app. And so just for another example, I'm going to do a different type of icon. I'm going to do, how about um, ant design? So I'm going to call this component ant design icon. And then I'm going to change the subdirectory inside of the React Native Vector Icons package, and it's going to be AntDesign.js. Except in React, we do not have to add the JS extension. So I'm just going to change this component to Ant Design Icon, and I'm going to change the name as well. So as you can see, um, Ant Design does not have a star dash O icon, so we're just getting a question mark. And as a side note, this is usually what I saw when dealing with the other icon libraries. So let's go back to the directory and go all the way up to Ant Design, and it's the first one. So let's pick one like, um, let's see, let's do customer service. That's just customer service, no dashes or anything. So I'm going to change the name here to customer. I don't know how I typed that in customer service. Now let's go back to the app and it should save immediately. And you can see we have a different icon there and we can also change the color. So in here, I'm going to change the color to say um, blue since that is my signature color. So let's go back and now we have a blue customer service icon. So the React Native Vector Icons library is very powerful and it works with Android, iOS. There is some configuration involved for those, but for React Native Web, it works pretty much seamlessly. So I hope I helped you out in this video and that you can start adding your own React Native Vector Icons into your React Native apps or your Expo apps. That's the solution that has worked best for me in my development experience. So I just wanted to share that in a video. So with that said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.